We made it, we're in Vancouver. Uh, I mean, look at this view. It never gets old. I've got a bunch of videos lined up for this week that I'm super excited to film and show you guys. For now, I just wanted to show you what I brought in my carry-on case and camera bag because I had to pack pretty light for this trip, at least light for me. Let's dive in. So first we have my carry-on luggage. This is from Level 8. It is their aluminum series and I absolutely love this thing because it is just a tank. And even the handles all like gently go down after you stop using them. It's the small details. I do want to give a huge shout out to Motion View Effects for sponsoring this video. Adding graphics is a fantastic way to add visual interest and impact to your videos and with Motion View Effects, it's incredibly simple uh, to customize and just to add them. They're pretty much the only plugins I've been using for the past handful of years, back when I was in Final Cut and now for the past year they've been in DaVinci Resolve. Whether you're in Resolve, Final Cut, Premiere, After Effects, they've got something for you. I'll leave links down in the description below to the packs that I used in this video as well as you can check out all the other stuff they have to offer. Again, huge shout out to Motion View Effects for sponsoring this video. Thanks guys. All right, so let's take a look inside. They also have these optional like packing bags. I freaking love these things. They have these icons. It comes with a bunch of different ones and they're actually just two one-handed and they're actually just Velcro. So you can take them off and put different ones on. I'll show you what's in there in a second. Uh, here I have my drone, which is my DJI Air 2S. And this is the Fly More combo kit. So it's got the extra batteries, the charging cables, and the whole case just nicely fits in here. All right, so I forgot that I actually already took it out, but in here is where I actually store my uh, gimbal. I brought my entire uh, RS3 Pro. Basically what I did was I took the mounting plate off here. And so it was just the basic gimbal. And then of course the gimbal breaks in half. So I just put hold of the motors and then you're left with just the handle and the battery grip. And because the uh, case wouldn't fit in there, I basically just put it in here and wrap. I kind of use all of my uh, underwear and socks as a way to protect the gimbal and be kind of uh, padding. So do what you gotta do. And you do also have a uh, little mesh zipper on this side to put anything thin if you want. And on this side is, is basically where all my main clothes are just stacked in here. And then there's where I also squeeze my uh, Insta360. So that's it for my roller. Over on my nightstand over here, we have, of course, my iPhone 13 Pro Max, a handy dandy uh, moffed wallet that I've been using the past couple of years, MagSafe on the back of my iPhone, Pixel 6 Pro, and to charge, I'm using the, I forget the name of it, it's just Apple's official like travel charging thing. It's super overpriced, but uh, it's obviously really nice quality and you get your MagSafe uh, charger as well as a fold out Apple Watch charger, all using the same USB type C to lightning cable and the same adapter that my iPad Pro uses. So overpriced, but it works and I like it and saves me an extra couple cables. And finally, in terms of the room, here is my desk setup. So over here we have my 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro and I actually brought along the uh, Anchor 8-in-1 dock. To be honest, I don't know if this video is going out first or if that video is already out, but if not, review coming on this soon. It's awesome. It's got SD card, uh, micro SD, it's got HDMI, it's USB all interfaces into the iPad, making it more like a computer. But here I write a bunch of notes. I use it as an extended monitor for my MacBook, uh, edit photos, all that good stuff. Or just like watch something while I'm working on my M1 MacBook Pro. This is the super base model, so struggles a little bit, but you know, do what you gotta do when you're traveling. I'm already rendering out some uh, shots I got here earlier. And in terms of media, uh, I've got my Angel Bird card readers here, the dual SD card and CFS 2.0. I'm storing everything on the pocket to go one terabyte. And then I also have a backup of everything on this uh, one terabyte T5. So these are basically mirrored. And then 
these two 500 gigs are kind of just extra storage in case I need it because I'm filming a lot. Uh, so I'm switching to this camera because I want to show you how my RS3 Pro is actually set up because obviously over the past couple weeks I've been uh, changing the setup quite a bit. DJI actually sent over <laughs> an entire Tilta setup, kind of confusing, but I actually took off the battery grip on the pocket because uh, I wanted to be able to use the gimbal at any angle and with the battery grip it does balance okay but if you go too far forward or too far back it definitely uh, had the tilt motor kind of maxed out so instead what i've done is take base plate from the rs3 pro and then i put the tilta base plate right here tilt a cage on here so it's nice because we have two uh mounting connections to the camera, way more secured. And then I actually found this like, small rig makes the coolest, weirdest stuff, but it is a 15 millimeter rod to 12 millimeter. And that's kind of short, so I have it basically connected to another a very short, like four inch, 15 millimeter rod that goes into the base plate. And so nothing is sitting on the, uh, gimbal plate and so we have the follow focus directly into the tilt -a base plate and perfectly lined up to where I can do this lock it into the base plate and now the gimbal is ready to go you literally have your follow focus on the opposite side it balances perfectly I can use it at any angle and none of the motors are maxed out it actually balances way better since we don't have it so tall with battery grip. Obviously this doesn't have the LiDAR or anything like that, but I could put the LiDAR on top if I really want to, but I didn't bring it on this trip because it drains the gimbal battery so long that I know I'm gonna be out on hikes all day and so I need the gimbal to last more than a couple hours. That and I just didn't want cables everywhere, right? Like this is pretty much a one cable setup with the follow focus and then that's it. Way less points of failure. <laughs> and if I wanna go back to handheld, I just unlock the base plate, push in the button. Now we're handheld again. All right, so now it is time for Peter McKinnon backpack. Obviously some of this stuff is already taken out like, you know, the laptop, which goes in the laptop sleeve. On the sides, we got a couple of things dangling. Got the uh, AirPods Max right here in that hard shell case. I have my black rapid strap, which I've had for like a decade now. I don't even know if Jared Bones still sells these, but it's the uh, iShoe Raw front nose photo edition. All right, so first we have this front zipper. Uh, this right now I just have my AirPod Pros and I have the car rental keys in here. Focus for me, you know you wanna focus, there we go. So you can kinda see it, my passport and vaccination cards and stuff, so it's nice and a uh, little secret compartment there. And if we bring down this whole top part, boom. All right, so a lot of it's kind of empty because what goes in these little pouches right there is what I just showed you at the desk. That's where all the card readers fit. So we got some charging extra cables folded up here. What is this? Oh, I forgot about you. You'll come in handy today. And then on this side, we have an assortment of items. So here I have my port keys. Uh, which monitor is this? PT5, it's a really nice, compact, uh, super minimal five inch monitor. So just in case I need to film myself and I don't want to use my EOS R, I want to use my pocket and still see myself. I got battery chargers for the pocket batteries. HDMI, random cables. This, I'm doing a video on the new B-Scrip anamorphic this is the new 1.33 x version 2 make sure you're subscribed to check this out of course we got the b script for iphone 13 pro max cage right here no handles got to keep it minimal but this thing is an absolute tank uh so that's just for the phone and of course in the peter mckinnon backpack you cannot have the peter mckinnon multi-tool you all seem to have quite the opinions uh, in my last video on this. I've used it a bunch already and say what you want, but it's a great multi-tool. I enjoy it. All right, turn it over. Now for the main compartment. 
So here in the main compartment uh, up here, it's where my iPad goes. Got the smart case right there in case I need it. Here we just have extra batteries and the memory card holder. Couple SDs, micro SDs, and an extra CFast in there. Extra batteries and uh, power cables right there. And then in the main housing, right here is where my EOS R goes with the 18 to 135 lens attached. Have a variable ND. Right here is uh, the weather pouch, but uh, normally right here is the microphone. Pocket 6K Pro with full tilt a cage on no uh, battery battery grip on it right now you all know i love this thing this is the zion power pack so i can use this to charge the camera on the gimbal if i need to with the v-mount attachment or it's basically just an extra battery bank for whatever i need and i ended up bringing all my cine lenses so right here i have the irix 15 millimeter cine lens and then in here we have both the 45. I brought the 150 macro because you never know if you're going to see cool wildlife or just things that are really far away. 